Hello. We're going to continue working on the um, our facing, and we're going to finalise actually and perfect that um, line because after we already touched the collar, now it's going to be easier for us to see where exactly and how exactly the facing should see. Um, first of all. So if you, we already had the talking line, which is attaches the facing, but I think during the um, attachment of the collar, my simulant just went undone. So I'm going to fold them inside again. But before we do that, I would like your attention to the um, shoulder seam. So we have here a shoulder seam, which is underneath there, if you, if you look, that's, that's my shoulder seam here. And you can see a little simulant showing through here where the seam is joined together. I'm going to mark on that seam, going to mark a little chalk mark there. So where I'm going to sneak my, um, my facing. So you have to be very careful, so don't sneak too much, otherwise you ended up with a massive hole in there. Um, so just when it's because it's already been tucked, so it's already your facing is in place. So you can see when you um, you finished your collar. So it's up to there, and only up to that line where the collar finished, you need to sneak. So my one is about one centimeter. So your one could be a little bit more. So do it in stages. If you're thinking actually uh, it could be more than that, so do it in stages. Do half half centimeter then one centimeter to see how much is you know so make sure it's um uh, releases and sneak in the right place can you see that i just sneak my facing if i just open that i just sneak my facing along the shoulder line so what we're going to do with that so we're going to leave that flat and that part of my similarity on the facing i'm going to fold it inside um in line with the um your collar um, but I'm going to do is I'm going to start it with this at the top and I would like really perfect and as I said it before that part here is have extra uh, volume because of the dot now we need to ease that extra fabric extra volume um, so in smoothly in that lapel and also that helps lapel nicely to curve like this natural curve so I'm going to, you know, perfect like that. And also I would like to have nice continuous line um, from the point, from that little point of the uh, lapel to your break line, really. That's what is most important. And um, to do that, I'm going to work in stages. So I'm going to tap that part first, fold in nicely, make sure all nice and, and uh, in line. That's quite a nice straight line, yeah. So I'm um, from that, so I know that's how much I want of the um, similar and I'm going to attach. My similar is, is slightly higher than um, the, you know, the similar of or where the collar is attached. So it's covered in order for me to make it that line straight because that's visible. So therefore, I just worry about how it looks and um, so it's important that it's straight and it goes slightly over, that's fine, as long as it's in line with my lapel, um, it'd be fine. There we go, go right to the end. Okay. Yeah, use your tuck and thread, single thread. So that's, that's done. So now I'm going to do the other part of my facing where um, I don't have extra um, you know, fabric. So it's actually need to be tight and, and smooth and folding where is my notch here. So I notched it, so that stays flat. If you can see that, that, that stays, so that's my notch here. See that, my notch. So that stays, that part stays flat. That one I fold it over under where or near to the line where it's um I attached my collar. So that will go underneath further. Okay. 
Now I'm going to tack again, single thread, tack a thread. With this one, I don't need extra fabric, so don't fold it on your hand. So that's a little trick now. You don't do that. So it's slightly pushed, stretched that side. And we don't want extra amount of the fabric in that area. So I'm going to tuck that. I tap my seam allowance of the facing. Now smoothly go slightly up to, to my lapel. Just going to secure that. So I've done it in stages. Nice if you've got mannequin to put on my arm, mannequin to, to check. Okay. So that's most important is that part is have enough fabric on that area. That's most important. And then if you look inside as well, so if I just, sorry, just that, move that for you. If you look inside, you don't want to have a lots of fabric inside here. Okay, because that's what goes against the neckline and you don't want to have a lot of fabric here, but you will want to have enough fabric to go over the, go over the lapel. So you can just move that down like you can see. Okay. So that's your color. Okay, that's your facing goes there. And I go into lapel. Okay, so um, that's done and I will show you how to do the uh, top of the collar in the next, um, next stage, next lesson. See you, bye.